Hi, it's John here from Cruise Bike. Got my new Silvio. Beautiful day for a ride. Not only have I got my new Silvio, I've got Kendrick's new Silvio here too. Thanks Kendrick for loaning me the bike for the moment. I built this bike for people who love their road bikes. People who love Altegra, who love 700c wheels, who love STI levers, people who love first class campaign gear, where's the recumbent for them? Here it is, now we've got This bike is built around 700c wheels, road bike componentry, built in a format that reproduces the road bike riding experience in a healthy, safe, ergonomic mode. Why would you want to change the road bike around? Just let me give you the posture of the road bike. Oh, hang on, rider, there we are. Okay, I've got the head craning going on, I've got the lower back extension going on there. You can't see the saddle. <laughs> I'm not going to demonstrate that far. But what you love about the road bike, and what I love about the road bike, is the integrity of that frame from the handlebar, that frame solid down there to the bottom bracket. You get on that baby, you give it all the power you want. It's solid, it delivers, it puts that power down on the road and away you go. That's what I love about a road bike, and that's what I've given you in this Silvio. Let me just show you where that power triangle is. If I was riding this as a road bike, this is the way I'd have to ride it. But there's the solid structure. Handlebar, bottom bracket, rear wheel. This would be a seat stay normally. This would be the seat tube. Bottom bracket, handlebar, well the handlebars would be a bit further forward. But it's the integrity of that power triangle, that tetrahedral structure which is what this bike is all about. Once you engage your body on that structure, all the acceleration and power that you're used to being able to produce on a road bike is now valuable to you on a recumbent in a format, in a format that does your body good. That's the big picture of the Cruise Bike Silvio, why we organise the parts in that way to give you that power delivery. Now, let's take a closer look technical tour. Because you're not going to be able to jump up out of the seat, we put suspension. We've got suspension front and back. This is a carbon fibre flexing chain stay, except there's no chain there. Solid seat stay, titanium leaf spring, and under here an elastomer polymer damping system. That's a very light structure. All the suspension elements are aligned with the forces. Allows you to build it in a very lightweight manner. Let's have a look at the seat. This is a single sheet of 2 mil uh, 7000 series alloy. Pressed in one hit to give you a contour that accepts the breadth of your shoulders, your back here, lumbar support here, and this part here which scoops in is designed to sit between the scapula, the shoulder blades, allow you to identify exactly where the angle of the frame is at all times, while giving your shoulders full movement to allow them to help you deliver the maximum power through the, into the frame. Seat pan, similar situation there. These seat pads, washable, on and off, no problem. Coming to the front, suspension again. Here we have a new technology airhead. This is a, an air shock absorber which you feed in about 150 psi into here with a uh, special pump that comes with the bike, and that'll give you just a little bit of float on the front which is again important for those bumps but which is also important to keep the traction on the front. Being front wheel drive 
like any front wheel drive vehicle, you don't want the front to tramp. The suspension is doing two things for you. It's keeping the pad on, delivering it onto the tarmac, and protecting you from any you know, serious bruising bumps. And coming now forward to the chainstay on the front, that's a real chainstay, again carbon fibre, and that flexes as the suspension moves. There's a special pivoting joint here around the bottom bracket, and a pivoting location here, and the adjustment for the legs is in this telescoping tube. So you can move that forward and back to accommodate all riders I think it's 95 uh, percentile riders uh, under the bell curve. At the other end of this telescoping tube, the handlebar brackets straight onto it. So you have a single tube running from the handlebar down to the bottom bracket. So at the same, at the same time you're adjusting your leg length, you can also adjust the handlebar reach. And then you can adjust the handlebar height here with a regular stack of spaces as on any road bike. In a nutshell, that's a technical tour of the cruise bike Silvio. We love it, Kendrick loves it, I'm sure you'll love it too.